We live in a world where there are a lot of fast food restaurants. For example, McDonald's, Burger King, and Subway have thousands of locations worldwide and menus with almost 100 items. However, In-N-Out, a cult favorite in the United States, has only 15 items on the menu and keeps everything as simple as possible, breaking every rule in the fast food book. What's In-N-Out? In-N-Out is an American fast food chain known for its simple menu of three burgers, fries, drinks, and milkshakes in three flavors. Because of their simplicity and fresh ingredients, they've become a cult favorite in the U.S. They also have a secret menu known only by word of mouth. Animal-style burgers and fries, protein burgers with lettuce instead of a bun, and the 4x4 cheeseburger. Even though it's only in California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Texas, Colorado, and Oregon, it still has a cult following. It is almost the same as when it first opened 70 years ago. The restaurant still uses a red and white color scheme and has palm tree prints on the walls to honor Schneider's favorite movie. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Why is it so inexpensive? Their famous double-double burger has yet to keep up with inflation. In 1989, it cost about $2.15 which would be about $4.40 today, but as of 2021, it only costs $3.85. They keep it cheap because they grind their meat and own most of their properties, so they don't have to pay rent. One reason is that Snyder hated debt, so he'd open a store, wait until he had enough money, and then open it. In 1948, Harry and Esther Snyder, who were just getting married, opened the burger joint, Around the same time, the McDonald brothers set up shop in California, and Harry was a World War II vet who became a baker after the war. Esther was a nurse in the women's branch of the Navy, where she met Harry. The two married and started their in and out restaurant in 1948 in Baldwin Park, just outside Los Angeles. Getting the company bigger, while McDonald's was focused on speed, in and out was more concerned with simplicity. They had a small, simple menu, high operational standards, and private ownership to create quality, friendliness, and cleanliness. Two years later, they opened their second in and out but their growth was slowed by the couple's quality control over the restaurant experience and the food. From 1950 to 1976, they only opened 18 restaurants, growing slowly and steadily. In 1992, he followed in his parents' footsteps by not wanting to franchise because he didn't want to lose the quality control model they had set up. Unfortunately, Rich died in a plane crash in 1993 and Guy, the older son who had been passed over, took over the company and grew it to 140 stores with over $200 million in sales. Guy, however, had problems with drugs. He was arrested for being drunk in public and having heart attacks. He died of heart failure at the age of 48 in 1999. The business was then run by Esther, who was in her 80s then. She was in charge of day-to-day -day operations, while Guy's daughter Lindsay rotated through the different departments to learn how the business worked. When Esther died in 2006, Mark Taylor, Lindsay's brother-in-law and a longtime executive, took over as president. In 2010, when Lindsay was in her 20s, and the company had 550 million in sales at 251 restaurants, he gave the job to her. Lindsay Snyder has been through a lot in her life, including drug and alcohol abuse, three divorces, and the death of many family members. However, she is now in charge of expanding in and outs fast food business, which she took over in 2010. In the last 10 years, she has continued to grow the business, expanding into Texas, Oregon, and Colorado, but always within a day's drive of a warehouse to keep ingredients fresh. Success. Even so, little has changed in the last 70 years. They still use fresh ingredients and cook to order, which is part of their success. Nothing is frozen or heated in a microwave, and everything goes in and out of one of their distribution centers within a day's drive. Its simplicity and common sense go beyond its menu as some store managers at in and out make more than $100,000 a year and have flexible schedules and paid vacations. 
in and out went against the fast food trend of using cheap frozen ingredients. Still, there's more to their success than meets the eye. Their high salaries keep their employees from leaving, and they need to hire new people. Their love of cars and the fact that they were close to highways and the first ones to have drive through also contributed to their success. They only had two rules. The customer is always right, and if the customer is wrong, go back to control number one. Some of their customers were secret shoppers who would place orders a few times a month to ensure the staff was dressed right and got their order. Conclusion Part of the reason they have yet to go public is that they wouldn't be able to keep quality control. The company was simple, but it unusually did things. For example, they never franchised and didn't have any shareholders. They even thought working on the grill was highly skilled because only store managers would do it. The barbecue in and out never hesitated to overpay or give money to charity. They also treated their suppliers well and paid the total price for high quality ingredients. Despite McDonald's dominance, an in and out restaurant sells twice as much as a McDonald's franchise every year, which is about $4.5 million with a 20% profit margin. The company makes more than a billion dollars annually and Lindsay Snyder owns almost all of it. She got big pieces of the business on her 25th, 30th, and 35th birthdays. In and out is one of the few businesses that had mostly stayed the same in the last 70 years. Even Lindsay Snyder is afraid to use online ordering. They'll lose their customer service, which is one of the things they do best because their customers are their most important asset. The culture around people, both customers and employees, is what has kept them successful to this day. Warren Buffett has said he'd love to invest in the business, and he even wrote to them about it but has yet to hear back. Some of the managers make six-figure salaries and get profit sharing. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.